Polyphan Vig and Dilma Vrig is that the story which she wrote like what, yesterday or two days ago is the same thing she wrote in the first time. I think she has in November last year. It's seven or six articles now. They are repeating the same thing. And we have clarified that. And we have taken a decision that we do not want to really dignify things that are, are, are just repetitions. And the coincidence that we have identified is that every time the people that handled Daily Maverick and herself, like the Pravin Godans, are in trouble. They try to bring up the issue of VBS. There is absolutely nothing new. That is the same allegation that she came to make in the press conference of the EFF. So if you go and check the first press conference of the EFF that dealt with this issue of VBS, she asked about a company called Mauna and Grand Azania, and she actually even spoke about the payments in Deben and everything else there. So these are not new things. She just uses different headings, the same article, same content of the same things. And we have since clarified that the EFF has never been involved with VBS and we've never benefited anything from VBS. And that is a final position. And, and the good thing about this is that not even one of the law enforcement agencies has ever brought an inquiry to the extent that seeks to question whether the EFF was involved or not because they all have admitted that the EFF was not involved. Not the Reserve Bank, not the Hawks, not the NPA, not the, the, the special crimes process and courts and everything else there. There is not a single law enforcement agency that is dignifying the imaginations of polyphon vague and the Daily Maverick. It's their own creations because they want to create a public discourse that seek to delegitimize uh, the integrity and standing of the EFF. And we're tired of clarifying nonsense. We're not going to do that as the EFF. We're busy. We're focusing on bigger battles that we know we're going to ultimately emerge uh, victorious.